Hello, everybody. Jared back again. and Welcome back for episode two of our achievement challenge in Banished. Welcome back to the little settlement of Butlerville, which we are hoping to expand upon and uh, really start to racket out some of these achievements, hitting some, uh, you know, settler achievements, maybe even getting to like fully educated of 200 adults. Ooh, oh, for four years. I thought it was in two years. I was like, good God, that would be absolutely horrendous. Oh, are we going to try and do this? We were going to try and do this first, weren't we? Getting the population of 300 citizens without building schools. Well, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> and we're just going to try for it. Uh, employ population to adults with steel tools for four years. We're going to try and get there. All these different things. Um, and trying to get to 300 people without a trading post. And so let's uh, make sure I don't get that done uh, at any time. And then reach population of 400 citizens without building crops, orchards, or pastures. That was another one I wanted to try and get to. Crop field, orchards, or pastures. Okay, pastures is animals. Never mind. For a second there, I was like, hey, I can get myself animals. I cannot. All right, so this is where we got to in the last episode. We got our initial little settlement done, our initial little forest node done, and we were just starting on our secondary node now that we have our bridges out to these guys. And uh, we're going to be expanding on some homes. And I would love, 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 love to get myself going on some extra stone if I could, because stone is really holding us back. And what I was actually kind of thinking, I can see the reserve of logs is also low, is this wouldn't be a terrible spot in this little nook here for a query, a query, a query, a query, 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 query. <laughs> Good gosh, whatever this thing is, query. That's probably saying all these words wrong. Um, just because it's too small for us to throw in a uh, forest node, at least not an insane, entirely effective one. And we can probably also get a few mines and whatnot through this spot as well. If I did something like, I can get a mine right there. Can I get a mine? I can get a mine there. So if I put you down, can I get another one beside it? Not quite, eh? I'd love to get, if I can get two mines in there, that would be absolutely amazing. What about over here? Oh, you absolute jerks. It's so close. What about over here? Are you going to work for me? You jerk. Come on. Okay, either way. So we'll put the mine right there. And then I'll try and get a quarry. Quarry? Quarry? Something like whatever this thing is in this spot as well. Trying to get as close as possible. Using as our space as effectively as humanly possible. So I'm going to throw this one down here. And that's going to take stone. Oh, wait, is that iron? It takes iron and logs, so that should be absolutely amazing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get rid of all of these trees. Harvest all of those guys. Um, and they will have to, uh, you know, grab them from there as well. And uh, let's put it at five speed here to get ourselves going on this. You know what? Ten speed. Hopefully I don't run out of food in the meantime. Let's also get them working on this bad boy as well. Um, we're building up our tailor. I'll let them finish that off. That's just works. So that's three. So I should go down to eight. And then this should also be done relatively quickly as well, which will get us a little bit more room to uh, push on those new spaces. Because stone is uh, one of the limiting factors that we are getting to right now. Now, here is a question I have to ask myself. Uh, I'm not working either of these. Let's slow it down for just a second. I do want these guys to be building things. Out of leather, um, I will add one person to try and up my uh, stockpile of leather there. And I probably should have somebody working here as well. But at the moment, I'm not going to. How are you guys doing? It's really just a terrible spot for you guys to be fishing. Is there other places I could be putting you? Gathering hut is full. What are we doing over here in our hunting cabin? Are we doing decently? We're getting a lot of leather. So we really just need to get ourselves going on this bad boy. It really wouldn't uh, be a terrible thing to make that the higher priority. Schoolhouse is placed but not being built. Hospital also placed but not being built. That is fine. Yeah, I need to get uh, more gatherers going pronto. So let's make this down here our priority. So increase priority, priority on that bad boy. And I will bump the speed back up to 10 to get that thing done. The ability to just gather, gather uh, materials not being there is uh, it's frustrating. I have to admit, it is a little bit frustrating. 
But you know what? It is what it is. Um, we're going to get that thing built out. We're also going to start planning out different things around there. Like we're going to need some storage for it. I'm going to throw this storage. Let's actually throw it on an angle like this. So that way I can also throw you across like so. And it's already going into winter. So this is absolutely horrible. Horrible. Our stored food is absolutely trash garbage, but we're just going to have to live with it. And hopefully they'll uh, start to bump these guys up. Um, let's throw a laborer into our blacksmith. Try and get our tool limit up. And I'm actually going to bump my tool limit up to, let's put it down to 50 actually. So that it'll, uh, you know, take a little bit longer to get through these things. We don't have a lot of people, but I would love to have them going. A uh, child has been born. Absolutely fantastic. Slow down everything again. We've got ourselves another gatherer's hut. All right. On that note, you are being taken down. Uh, no, I'm pressing the wrong button there. Now be taken down. And then you are going to be put into here. Six gatherers. Food, uh, food limit isn't great, but that's fine. But we want to get those guys down pronto. Now, here's a question I want to ask myself. I think, I think, I think, I think that I want to move into stone housing. It's going to cost me a lot of stone, but I think I want to do it. It's going to make everybody be warmer, which will mean they'll work longer, which is kind of my hope. So I'm going to throw three in like that, and that will be where those guys are going to chill. And what I'll do is I'll just have uh, two of them being built for now, and let's work towards that. Um, that's 11 uh, different things for them to build, which is a lot, but I'm going to allow them to crack on with that. Now, I should probably make myself another home pretty quickly. If I take a look at all of my houses here, I've got a 13 year old and a 15 year old there got a 12 year old i've got an eight year old so we do need uh some more housing relatively quickly late winter we're already cracking on which is awesome um i have 34 stored stone so i should be able to build that guy up although we're gonna need it for you as well and then you guys are all paused what am i gonna need for you 130 stone we're gonna want this guy built up before we're uh pushing for that aren't we but we're going to have to wait for those guys to get going on. The reserve of log is low, I'm aware. Just is what it is. How is my forester doing every year, by the way? 107 logs. Not a massive amount, but uh, better than nothing, I have to say. I don't have enough laborers to really be pushing into anything else that I can, uh, you know, hold off on anything. Yeah, I know the reserve of logs is low. What I might do is my... Uh, Taylor has probably gotten me enough. Let's stop working and take you off to be a laborer for a little while to try and get me a little bit more logs and whatnot. And how have you done over this winter? Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. We need to have these guys being built up so that I can get a little bit more going. Um, do I want to... I'm going to stop work on this immediately, and I'm going to push um, one more person as a gatherer and then, ooh, wow, how did we just... Oh, we had two more people become a laborers. That's fantastic. Let's actually have eight people working in our gathering huts then and have five people building to try and get ourselves pushed up a little bit here. Push, push, push. I may uh, want... I mean, this was just a bad idea, getting those fishing docks in. They're just not that great. Uh, other things that we are going to need out here are stockpiles, aren't they? So we're going to need some stockpiles. Let's do this stockpile... 10 is the deep, the max amount. Let's do 10 by three, try and get that one in there. And then we can start planning out other things that we're gonna put in this venue here, such as a forestry lodge, which I'm actually going to throw down here. Maybe here, uh, I can't see, I can't see if they're gonna build up there or not. I'm gonna throw it down there and then I'm gonna pause it. And we are going to throw down an herbalist in this one. I'm gonna put the herbalist in the back let's pause you as well and do i want a hunter here or not probably but uh we're gonna wait on that for now do i want the hunter probably do want a hunter to be completely honest we probably want a hunter sorry if you can hear the dogs in the background there guys they are uh excited about something i'm not exactly sure what they're excited about but somebody is here. All right, let's place you down and pause you. And I'm actually going to slow this down for just a second. There we go. 
And uh, how is everything? And how is this doing, by the way? It's got some firewood, which is amazing. It's keeping the leather, iron tools. In fact, my tools are doing really well. So let's actually pause and take away the worker for you as well to get even more laborers working through our little spot here and pushing towards getting some of these things nicely thrown together. They are removing some of the materials there, which is actually going to get us a bunch of materials. And uh, now that this guy is done, I actually should be pushing for our storage barn so that these guys can actually throw some of this uh, materials in there. Let's also tell them that they can cut down a few more trees, such as these ones and you. And... Possibly also throwing a bridge across somewhere would not be a terrible idea to get access to over here. Like maybe like right across over here. I don't really want them to build it yet, but I'm think I'm just thinking ahead for myself right now. That would be an extremely useful bridge to have. I'm gonna pause it for right now, though, so that they are pushing through onto other materials. And look at them grabbing this thing. Um, we are gonna need some stockpiles over here as well, so let's give them even more things to build. Because why make my life easy, right? So this is you to there. Can I build a stockpile? I'm going to build it like so. There's going to be the stockpile, and you guys can just push forward and getting that stuff all built up for me. Push, guys. Push up to 10 speed. Um, That is, we have 34 people. We have 10 children, so I really, really, really need these houses, guys. Can I increase the priority on all of this? This is more important than whatever the heck you're doing. Look at the logs being delivered. That's amazing. Get more logs delivered. There we go. You're going to get that storage barn up pronto. And then it looks like it's a lot of wood that we're going to need going on here. So let's get even more wood chopped down. I'm going to allow them to chop down trees in this general region. And uh, hopefully that'll get them the lumber that they need. And that way they won't have to push as far to go and get all these things. And we have someone working here. If I need another laborer, I could grab somebody from there as well. But I think for right now, I'm going to leave them doing that. That is uh, being extremely useful. And now these homes are also within the uh, the realm of that as well, which is also going to be extremely useful. My woodcutter is doing fantastic. Uh, I just uh, turned something off. What did I turn off? You, I turned off. Uh, someone else is born. Someone else is working as a laborer. Let's unpause you as well. How are we doing for food? Not great, but not terrible either. Well, it's telling me my food storage is low, so maybe it is terrible. <laughs> Getting myself even another uh, gatherer probably wouldn't be terrible. I'm hoping now that this is here, these guys, and once they have homes like they do now, which is amazing, they uh, hopefully should do a little bit better of targeting what exact, jo what exact jobs they do, which they are seeming to do a little bit better. Yeah, they're already going to go and grab all that food, aren't they? Absolutely, they are. Someone else is born, and they're getting this house going as well. Let's get this one going. Oh, no, I already unpaused it. There we go. All right. Um, This one's also almost done. Can you guys just prioritize all of this? Everything there, prioritize that. Get her done. And then uh, they're actually getting a lot done. I wonder if we gain those resources back. It does seem like we do. Like, there's a bunch of stacks of wood and trees there. But it might be better to like clear cut before uh, doing those kind of builds. Maybe. We'll have to see in the future. Yeah, I'm understanding that we have a lot of low sto uh, stone and low wood and all that jazz. I'm aware. I am more than aware. Just make sure I got all of this stuff available to us because that is all accessible. Uh, five and five. I've got a bunch of laborers. Are we going down on anything? Not particularly. I'm going to put... Another two people over here for right now. And I'm also going to put one more person over in the hunting cabin to try and get even more from that. I think that would not be a terrible idea. And you guys have split off, which is amazing. And uh, we got most of our resources all available to us there. Let's get the... Um, well, we are going to need the forest. Let's get the forest uh, cabin going here. Is there anything else I really want to be pushing towards? Not really. They aren't getting all of those resources, which is amazing. Are we collecting these? We aren't. Collect all that stuff. Good gosh. Um, we do need our tailor back up and running. So let's give somebody in our tailor. Thank you very much. Looks like they uh, finished that stockpile, which is a beauty. 
And uh, we're just waiting for logs for these guys. You know what? Look at all these trees that we can be cutting down. Uh, all of these... Am I doing the right thing there? No, I'm just not pressing the tree button. All of these can go away. If you get to it. And in the meantime, let's also give ourselves a way over there. So I'm going to unpause this guy. And let's bring him up here so I can actually see that these guys are being built like this. Uh, I'll also bring you up again just to have all these guys there and waiting for me. So I can see what the heck is going on. We're delivering iron. Beautiful. Push forward. How are we doing on food? I don't know. <laughs> it might be more that they've... Uh, oh, they're building up the stone. They might be just collecting a bunch of food. So let's let's take a quick gander at how much food they're gathering every year. So this is 1,600 roughly. So that's 16 people there. This is another 1,600. So that's another 16. So 32 people should be... Well, actually, that's not everybody. So woo, that's tight. That is tight. And then uh, how is my hunting lodge doing? Okay, I mean, yeah, not terrible, but also not great. So I really should start slowing down on uh, the building of homes. You know what? Let's actually just slow down a little bit in general. That's been like 15 minutes of pushing hard, and they are so close to getting this place down as well. But I think that more food is uh, more necessary than getting the quarry up. But these two guys should give me materials for a long time, hopefully. So let's start planning where our next food source is going to come from. Now, we could aim to try and get a little bit more fish out from down here, seeing as we are going to get some uh, fairly decent area coverage of water down there, unlike over here. So maybe, 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 maybe... I move for some fishing up here to get a little bit more diversity in our diet and maybe start moving towards getting another forest node up in this location because I feel like that wouldn't be a terrible spot for another gathering hut. It's not uh, fully productive, but at least it's close by and we can have a couple people over there. We could even throw the houses on this side and it would be fairly productive. Let's go for it. So if I threw down a gathering hut there, paused it, we're going to have a bridge across here, which they're already working on, right? Yep, they just need the wood. And then we'll probably throw in a bridge across here as well. But we're also going to want to have the road coming straight up. Something like this. And we'll start throwing some other materials and stuff off the side. Have a fishing dock there. Move across there. Maybe throw the housing in here and another fishing dock off there. I think would not be a terrible idea. Yes. In fact, we have too many builders for the amount of jobs that we have to do. So let's aim to get these guys done as well. So if I did a fishing dock and I put it off here. That's giving me a decent coverage. And that's getting decent coverage as well. So let's aim to have those two down. Can I push this one out any farther? I kind of want those in line just aesthetically. So let's uh, see if I can do this. If I cancel this one and I throw down another one, can I line that up? Is that the same? If I go there, click, click, click. Don't drop away, Jared. That is lined up. Beautiful. That's the kind of thing that I want to see. And then just because I want it, I'm definitely not going to do stone roads. Um, if that's going to go right there, we're going to cross a dirt road. Could I be oh, right. It's an actual bridge. What am I talking about? So that's there. Let's throw the bridge here. That's where that bridge is going to go. Um, I think I'll allow it to be built. This one obviously is going to go together first, but I'll allow that one to be built too. Let's go to five speed. You're ready to go, so we probably should. There's only... Oh, right. That actually goes for only a certain amount of time. I forgot about that. Let's also make our quarry limit a little bit higher. Um, I wouldn't say no to having two people in this quarry. Would not say no to that at all. We're going to have to do a lot of work on quarries. They're going to build those roads first, aren't they? Of course they are. 12 to 30 is not great. Is there a lot of laborers that are aging out? 
There was a 10 and a 12 year old, an 11 year old, a 13 year old, an 11 year old. There are, and a 16 year old. Yeah, there are a lot of laborers that are aging out. We should actually slow this down a little bit. Uh, Forester Lodge is not quite done yet. Let's also get the hunting cabin going here and take a quick gander at my stored food. I need to get myself a town hall pronto, you guys. Absolutely pronto. All right, you're done. Um, let's actually get one more here. I'm going to bump this down to three. Uh, you're paused? Why are you paused? Oh, the, the, the well is paused. Oh, unpause the well, actually. We should probably get a few more wells out here. It takes 40 stone, but we don't want these guys burning down. That's for dang sure, so I'll let that go. Um, let's also bump this forestry lodge down to three, so it won't take everybody, and we'll bump six. So three and three should be fine, right? Right. Cool. Uh, they're going to push forward on you. Let's go back up to five speed while we plan out the rest of this. So you guys are bringing things for this one. Not my favorite choice in the entire world, but I'm not going to be too mad at you guys. I will allow you to cut down those trees there. Just to grab them. And this wooden bridge is waiting for stone. Are we limited on stone? We are absolutely limited on stone. Can I get you to grab the stone there? All the stone here. All the stone there is all available to you, you guys. Crack at it. Crack at it. Crack on it. Get on it. All those all those words. Um, these guys have two people working on it, and they haven't got anything yet. I may ask them to... Well, we could probably get another stockpile going here, just so that they don't have to go as far. If I threw a stockpile here... It would just go. Perfect. All right, great. So that means they uh, they don't have to go as far to drop off their stuff, which is absolutely fantastic. Do I want to destroy one of these guys just to make room? I think I'm going to destroy this one. I don't know if we get any resources back, though. So let's... Uh, I think this one is worse coverage than that one. So I'm going to get rid of this one here. Uh, remove structure, remove this one. So hopefully they'll get on that as well. More people being born. Our reserve of food is low. How are you doing this season? You're doing roughly as well as uh, previous seasons. So that is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, stone really is the uh, limiting factor here. So we're going to need to make that a priority. Um, what I might do is prioritize the collection of these materials over here. So if you guys could get that and that and that, that would actually make our lives a lot easier. And probably if I just cancel this and then grab those resources, that would also make our lives a little bit easier. So let's remove that structure. And then uh, let's remove the stone. Whoops, no, no. Remove the stone from here. And then let's prioritize that collection. Should also make our lives a little bit easier. And go forth, everybody. Get me all of that materials, please. And thank you. And they're taking their sweet time on this as well. Which is fine. Um, oh, right, this was collecting 40 stone. Uh, and four people are working on it? No, take it away. I don't want that stone going there. I have better, uh... Oh, wait. No, yeah, the wooden bridge. I have better, uh, spots for that stone to go, and it's not there. Are you not being collected, by the way, stone? Just a second. We have to have got some stone, like... Are you serious? We got stone right there, and what are you? You're probably the schoolhouse. Okay, you're also cancelled. Cancel the schoolhouse so I can collect this frickin' stone, guys. There's stone right in our backyard, and no one's getting it. Uh, you can also gather this. And we'll put that schoolyard back in, obviously, at some point. But getting that stuff all going is going to be way better for us in the long run. How have you done since you started? Six stone. We need to get ourselves some uh, housing out here. Sooner rather than later. They're collecting that stone. Everybody's working as a laborer now. Let's get another person working in the quarry for right now. Try and get that stone up and at them here. Because, uh, oh, there we go. That wooden bridge is ready to be built up. They're just taking their sweet time doing it. Get her done, you guys. Get her done. Let's also throw you up. You're done already. And you are done. Wooden bridge for the win. I'm going to pause. Actually, you know what? They're almost done on this wooden bridge as well. So I'll take that one up as well. 
Why the heck not? Um, let's also get them working on roads. So this road is going to come down like this, I guess. Kind of want to move this. Although I can't actually get down there anyway. Maybe I'll just have another bridge coming down on this side. Just noticing that uh, this is problematic where I've placed these things. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to immediately demolish this guy for a better location for it. And then uh, let's throw in the plans for some more houses over here. So these take a lot of uh, people. How far does the reach go? It goes to here, so I probably do want them on this side. Uh, so let's start planning for a row of houses for our people that work on our mines and whatnot. So one, two, three, four. Oh, well, we're gonna start with four. Um, let's pause the construction on two of them and let's get ourselves some roads going down. So it's gonna be along here like this, like that and that, and then straight across to here. Um, we have people starving, uh, uh, dying of starvation here. That is not cool. Slow the phone. Let's take a few laborers off. That's not okay, you guys. That is not okay at all. Um, you are saying you have a limit of wood, so let's get that up to 2,000. Hopefully that won't uh, take away a lot. Um, I'm going to take you down by one. You're still hungry. I guess I'll start putting some people into here. Let's take that down and try and get some people fishing as well, because people are hungry and that ain't okay. Now, is that due to... No, there's no wood in there at all. There's only firewood. All right, let's also take away... Uh, you're not working. You are working, but you don't have any materials. So I'm going to stop working you. And hopefully we're not going to have too much starving off here. It seems like my adults are the ones that are starving, not the kids, which is, you would think, better. Okay, let's put someone else in the hunting over here as well. Uh, someone else is working as a laborer, so let's put one one more person out here in the hunting. And somebody else dying of freaking starvation. That is not cool, you guys. Not cool at all. Oh, this fishing dock is working, so stop working there. I know there's actually better fishing there, but I would prefer you to be working at this fishing spot and not going that far. Man, a oh, child died. You guys, ah, man, just people are steal stealing all the food is the real problem. And I mean, this is one of the bigger problems with uh, Banished in general, is the food will just get stolen and it's not okay. Um, last season they did worse than they have in the past. That might be part of the problem. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off cut here for a second. We are getting enough materials. I wanna kinda have a little bit of grow back of our uh, area here because that is turning out to be a bit of a problem. Yeah, man, don't like it, guys. I don't like losing people, but at least our uh, reserve of tools is low. Oh, uh, get going. Oh, and we then lost someone from starvation as well. All right, there you go. Um, who can I take away? Not really anybody. I guess I can take away a forester from you, maybe? And then we already got someone there. I just want to have laborers going. The builders aren't really that big of a deal. So let's grab you. We can also probably take away someone from the quarry, but I kind of need those materials. Uh, somebody is now out of materials, which is a little bit of a problem. We got stored iron, so that shouldn't be an issue. There's even iron here, so my tool guy should be able to push forward with that. Coal is going to be necessary for the next stage of things. And it looks like they've got the majority of those materials done as well. So let's get ourselves a mine back, planned at least, to go back in here. It's going to go right there. That is annoying. All right, but we do have this area ready to go. Good gosh, dying of starvation, the blacksmith. But uh, somebody replaced you? Yes, Net has replaced you as the blacksmith. We have the food. That is so frustrating when you actually have the thing that they can go grab and they don't do it. 
man, that is horrifically frustrating. Because, yeah, it does exist. It does indeed exist. Do I have a storehouse over here? I do, but it's not even being used. It's being taken over here immediately. And then uh, being grabbed by the homes immediately as well. Well, luckily my uh, population isn't overly aging out. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, food for them to grab if they can. So you guys need to go and grab the food right away. And we probably also want to grab another person in here because they've made one tool. We have two people that are toolless. Well, apparently I'm the tool for pushing everything forward a little bit too fast, to be completely honest. Um, let's also get ourselves at least planning to do a bridge here. I'm going to pause it for right now, but that's where that bridge is going to go. And that should be fine. Still tool, too toolless. Is there anybody I can take away? Not really. And how well are you doing? 44, not a lot of fish. I'd love to know if the fish are better or worse for it, if you know what I mean. They have to go a long way to get it in storage, unfortunately, which sucks a little bit. We're only down to one person that's toolless, so that's a bit better. And the food is still the problem here. Um, Let's not cut for a little while. How are you doing? Doing okay. How are you doing? Pretty good. You were able to actually get some uh, animals there, which is fantastic. How about you? Definitely able to get some animals, which is lovely. And uh, we actually got ourselves another labor, and I closed this freaking thing down again. Uh, yeah, someone was born, and then someone was uh, brought on as a laborer, which I love to see. They've gotten the tool. I'm actually going to add... Oh, no, I can only put one person here. Never mind. I was going to say, I'm going to add someone as uh, the person to grab the tools, but I'm not. That's not going to happen. No sorry. Do I want... Okay, just a second. Thinking about the town hall. I want to be able to see what the heck is going on. So if I grabbed a town hall, I could actually fit that. Oh, I can't fit that in there. What is... Oh, it's because of that house. But I could fit it in here. I am going to throw this down. Hopefully they... Uh... Do I want to... I want to see how much food I need. And I need to have a town hall to see those features. I also want a cemetery because I need to know how much people are dying as well. What I may do is a cemetery there. Oh, wait, is that too small? I think it was too small. Oh, I see it actually pops up when you could actually build it. Like that. But that's going to be in the way of this. Uh, what if I put a cemetery here? I mean, it sucks. But I kind of need it done. Oh man, it takes so much freaking stone. But I need to fill a cemetery with uh, people. <laughs> it's one of my my goals. So I need to get that done relatively quickly as well. Um, do I want you guys building on anything? You're waiting on stone. I don't particularly need the home anymore now that everybody... Although, uh, that's not true. I probably do have people that are going to age out relatively quickly. Eight. Eight. Yeah, so there are some people that are going to want some new homes. Not that we can actually supply them. Like, you are a 17-year-old and you're an 11-year-old. So those guys would... And the 12-year-old and 11-year-old would definitely pair up. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to get that thing going. Never mind. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. And let's go forward a little bit here. Uh, look at all the children being born. And someone as a laborer as well. Absolutely glorious. Let's bump you up. We've got a little bit of a stockpile of food here. It's not in here. <laughs> Which is okay, I guess. Uh, we're delivering the logs. Let's also get a... Up your... Firewood. To 900 for right now just to try and get a little bit more firewood out in the world. Just because I, I know what's going to happen. They're just going to lose it, and then everything will go terrible. Uh, get rid of the stockpile. And there goes all my food once again. And how are you doing, my friend? 96. Man, it is just trash garbage food collection. <laughs> it's just not good, you guys. It is not good. I think what I'm going to do for uh, the one up here... 
is not have a forester or maybe you have a forester but only employ one person there because I need to keep the old growth a little longer. But we need to have a little bit of food. I mean, a little bit of uh, wood coming in. So it is a bit of a struggle. It's a struggle, bless is what it is. Okay. Um, laborers are coming along. They're even out here and hungry. So let's undo this one as well. Let's also unpause you so that we can get these guys being built up. So you and you. In fact, I think I'm going to... Yes, I'll allow that one to be built. But I then want to have a little bit more housing out here so I can start to work towards getting this bad boy uh, going. So let's aim to get a few houses out here as well. Um, how, where, how far do you reach? You reach right there. I kind of like the idea of housing, having the houses on this side, although I can probably get maybe two there to kind of get in there and to get over here. And I would prefer those ones being done first. Again, it's a little bit of a jaunt. And people are hungry. Once again, go get some food, you guys. Reserve of, lo of logs is low. Look how many people just became laborers. Good God. And then they just died of starvation. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, we need to get uh, these things going soon. Because that is not okay. And we're waiting on a bunch of stone for you, eh? Is there more stone I can be collecting? All of this and all of you? Perfect. And you. And you. And how much stone are you collecting every year? 21? Man, it takes a long time to get those things done. Just so much. Our uh, supply of stone is going down, so I'm going to allow these guys to cut again. I'll allow you to cut. You to cut. There we go. You can guys can get those guys cut so we can get a little bit more wood back. You're nice and built up. Uh, the wooden bridge, it seems like it's done. Let's get these houses into places so I can see. Stacking. Maybe on like an angle like this. How far along they are. Although it seems like maybe that is a better way to do it. So we can see how they're going that way. Although, again, that is a crap load of uh, food that we're going to need to get going pronto. So maybe, I mean, do I want to stop it? I could pause it. It's almost done. You know what? I'm going to pause it. Just like really close to being complete. So they'll just be able to jot over and get. Oh, shoot. I missed it. Never mind. That one's done. Um, this one I'll pause then because it just no it doesn't it needs all the things never mind We'll wait. We have a lot of textiles left. Um, we actually have a lot of tools as well. So let's uh Unpause you let's pause you and give you a worker and take your worker away. Is it iron now that we have a uh, limit is yes It is so actually that's a bit of an issue. Oh, they've been working on this without me noticing shoot Let's get some iron collected. So we want that we want that and hopefully uh, my massive amount of laborers will go and get that done. Let's unpause this, put four people in it, and pause this one. So they'll go and they'll work over here. And they're going immediately into there. We also need to give them some storage. So let's give them a storage barn. I'm going to say it's going to go here. Like so. So that's going to be a little bit of a jaunt for those guys to get there as well. But that's fine. And then my uh, marketer will go out and grab stuff from that storage spot, which should be absolutely epic. We probably want another bridge across to this one over here. So bridges everywhere. They got this bridge done. Let's also give them a little bit of a road here. Road to there. Road to there. Road to there. Road to there. Roads everywhere. They walk a little bit faster on roads. Uh, people are being born left, right, and center, which is a little bit scary. <laughs> but we're just going to have to live with it. Uh, let's get you over to here. Our food is dwindling. We have almost everything we need iron-wise. Okay, that's where all my iron went. Good gosh. 
Look how much stone and iron I need. Good God. Let's unpause. Let's pause you. Don't need you being built right away. Although that is a long way for everybody to walk, isn't it? <sighs> well, if we've learned anything, guys, it is that Vanilla Banished is a bit difficult. But I think on this note, you guys, I am going to call this episode here. Um, we've definitely expanded our population. We are now sitting above 50 people, which is absolutely awesome. Um, we've expanded and made ourselves our quarry and are getting our mine at some point. Let's actually just pull you over here. Oh, yeah, this is a better place to have this stuff, isn't it? Town Hall and mine are coming along. This Town Hall is taking up so much of my stone, but I really just need to have it so I can see how we are going to do, like, how, how much food we need coming in, if that makes sense. Because right now, trying to math that out is not working very well for me. So getting that in is going to be of utmost importance. Um, yeah. I'm going to leave this one here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode of Vanilla Banished uh, Achievement Mode. Thanks, everybody. Bye.